Looks like we got a, another episode of the or mission of the campaign here to do. This time it looks like we're switching on over to orcs from Space Marines in the last one. So let's go ahead and launch this bad boy and see how it goes. I'll be going into some kind of history about the orcs and whatnot as it progresses. There's not like a ton of rich history like there is, like the Horus Heresy and the, and the such, but um, we can talk about stuff like uh, the Old Ones and the War in Heaven and um, how like the Necrons and the Catan or Satan, however you want to pronounce it, but I go with Catan because that's what I think the designers wanted. Um, we'll go into those kind of things in Gork and Mork and what, but let's just kind of see this, this intro here, huh? This is my first time really playing orcs. Oh, uh, fires his claw and jumps to the target position. Oh, look at that. Go ahead and do it. You can't use this ability. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I love just like the smarmy cockney accent of horse. Just we go around the outside. Come on, you gits. Um, but like I was saying, though, orcs don't really have like the kind of. I mean, they do have a good history. But they don't have the kind of. <laughs> it just shot that little guy. Um, they don't kind of have like the crazy history that, say, Space Marines do or or Eldar. They have kind of like a somewhat limited history and just. And just like, you know, the way that orcs are in general. Heavy cover decks from use from range fire. Roger that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hopefully get little stick bombs. That's nifty. So um Everything in the war like the Warhammer forty thousand universe started with I mean, like before every like the humans and space marines and everything, there was the old ones, and it's just like the Warhammer Fantasy universe. So the old ones are basically this this reptilian like race of super intelligent second. Oh yeah, just heavy, getting heavy bolted down. Hmm. So this really is kind of like a giant tutorial. Let's just go ahead and grab this while we can. Um, the old ones made the slan from the Lizardmen, who we saw in the giant Pizza the Hut in the, in the Total War Warhammer 2 trailer. Um, they made the Eldar. They also made a race of basically like super advanced orangutans called uh, Jokero. Jokairo. Um, J O K A E R O. And um, they also made what's called the Krork, which are the precursors to the orcs at the time. And they basically had these. Oh, okay. They basically used these races for certain menial tasks, like slans were magically adept. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just like playing um, Zelda, he's got the grappling hook. <laughs> Spiking claw, Earth is Oh man, yeah, we're gonna use it on these guys right now. Oh yeah, oh man, this guy's just beastly. The orcs don't fuck around. Then again, they're all fighting Imperial Guard who are just like paper, wet paper. 
structures, units, upgrades, and rocks are unlocked. Nifty. Um, so yeah, you have the old ones, and along with the old ones, you've got this other like race of like the Eldar call them star gods. They're called the Catan. C apostrophe T A N. Um, some people call them Satan. Some people call them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flip out, flip out, yeah. Oh, can he move? Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's just something else. Oh, this is wild, I swear. Um, that's pretty sick. So, oh, let's watch this. I did it. I took this fall. After I did all the work. And you deserve to work. We wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for your plan failing at the gate. But I'm a forgiving boss. You build me a big gun here. One that can blow over Varlock Keith, and I'll call it even. For your forgiveness? Anything for you, boss. <laughs> oh, I'll build you a gun of right. But we're gonna need a proper camp to get that started. Okay. We need to capture that then. So, there's this big battle between the Catan and the old ones. Build me an army worthy of Mordor. Now you're gonna need some requisition. Uh, okay. Um. Okay, so they can make the boys in there, Gretchen in there, just, you know, just get another uni. Let's make some more. Uh, make some more, uh, them dudes. <coughs> um, so yeah, war in the heavens between the Catan and the old ones and all the, the old ones, like, uh, uh, races. So the Quark were fighting and the Quark were a little bit bigger. Hmm, okay, cool. Um, the, the Quark were implied to be a little bit bigger than they are even now. Yeah. So who can loot it? You, of course, go about looting the scrap. Okay, let's go take a look. Oh, it's rummaging through. Look at that. Oh, sick! That's so cool! Because I know they can do that, but I've played against orcs and never seen this. Calm down, man. Um, so again, yeah, the, these, this war between basically old ones and Catan and all their, all their, you know, their uh, not cognitive, but all their uh, uh, sentient races, and the Quarks were bigger. They were like <clears throat> more of like the fighty frontliners. The Eldar were kind of life and um, fast attack type units, but also the Eldar used the Immaterium to power their psychic abilities because the Catan are soulless creatures. They're like they're comprised of energy, they're not comprised of souls. So because of that, they're extremely susceptible to the immaterium. Um, the, the books talk about how in the in the very early days, the the immaterium was very calm and, and there wasn't the kind of crazy, terrifying um, entities that we see in the warp now. I'm just building make let my guys upgrade here. Because um, we see now like every time we see like chaos or stuff like that, they're all Everything in the warp is is crazy and warped and gnarled and scary. In you know the old ones' time, it was just like basically it talks about just being just like smooth currents, and they traverse through the warp using the webway, which the Eldar use now. But um, this the, the this though the warp starts to get crazy as more and more sentient beings come into come into existence because the warp is charged by uh, sentient emotions. And through those emotions, chaos gods are created. So that's how you have Slanesh, Zinch, um, Korn, and Nurgle. And, oh yeah, you scoop it up. So what happens with these guys? That is sick. We got stick bombs! So these guys can shout. Boys hype themselves up, getting charges. 
as they channel. Charges grant and temporary bonuses increase speed, melee attacks that slow enemies, increase attack damage, and a shield. That's pretty fucking cool. So I press this button. And this button. And this button. Oh, damn. That's pretty fucking nifty. Okay. So let's let's get that let's get this all into the fray. So we'll do you control group one, you control group two. Oh, you know what? You're about to get another scrap. So, um, <clears throat> as the war in heaven kind of progresses, the warp gets crazier and crazier because the gorks, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the quarks eventually um, allow uh, gork and mork to manifest, and, and there's all the other chaos gods starting to come about, and the katan are susceptible against this energy as well. Um, I'll go into something in the war in heaven. These gork get spin cloud Okay. Now I'll use it. Huh. Nifty, like a little shield. That's something else. I like that. Oh, and they drop scrap form too. Um, I just wouldn't just get any more boys. I mean, come on, we're orcs. But <clears throat> eventually, the war in heaven ends. The old ones are kind of defeated and are thrown, you know, into away from the Milky Way galaxy, more or less. And clear the floor. Okay, so let's get you in first so you can use your special cool ability again. Oh, look at that. Do these guys down here. I don't have these guys go there and these guys go there. Can you guys do it again? Yeah, you guys can go again. Channel your shit, man. Um, and what happens is the 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 cork become works space works, and with that they become this kind of like plague upon the galaxy more or less it's talked about like the orcs being more or less the most abundant race in the entire warhammer world um even they, they you know it's like speculation you could say they're even more so than the uh tyranids so they're of course these ravenous little green monsters that fight the hell out of everything they see that's just cool i think you can upgrade these guys people back with these sticks of doom again. Um, and the orcs have like a really crazy society and everything. They they don't reproduce through normal means, that's for sure. They have like, they just like shoot spores and the spores are what actually stop. Can you stop? Can you stop doing that? No, oh, so I guess you can't stop it. Um, the spores are effectively like what reproduces them. And the spores develop into all sorts of Gretchens and, and Snotlings and Squigs. And those basically develop the uh, orc ecosystem. Because the... Oh, boom. That's not good. Let's get you up there. You over here. And those shooters do some, some hefty amount of damage. Because um, the orcs eat the squigs, the Gretchens build for them, the snotlings get eaten by the squigs. And squigs sometimes eat themselves. And they also eat orc poop. Which is kind of cool, right? But orcs have this weird, like, gestalt psychic ability. They don't naturally have, like, <clears throat> a ton of nat like natural psychic abilities. Like, say, the Eldar. The Eldar can... So what is this? Is this salvage? What is this? I'm going to send you in first. Oh, okay, resources. So, you know, the Eldar have all their abilities and whatnot. But the orcs have this weird, like, innate ability when it comes to technology. Like, that was one thing that was encoded upon them with the, uh... With the old ones was... That... 
they could pretty much just make any kind of ram shackle technology. While while the the Jokero, the Jokairo, whatever those those Gargantuan or, or uh, orangutans I was talking about, basically uh, can make. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! They can make everything out of like they can make amazing technology. Orcs make this crude, weird technology, and. Actually gets you. Boom! Reinforced. Look at that. Just popped out of nowhere. Um, let's actually do this. Yeah, get them all beefed up again. Make some more. I'm just gonna shoot us and some more boys. I'm over here, you know. I, f I feel like Bob Ross. But just some, just some more, some more happy ones. Some happy trees. Okay, so that's plenty of scrap for them. Um, but again, they have like this just all uh, like psychic ability, quote unquote, that allows them to basically believe things into being. I'm not saying like Peter Pan, like they can fly, motherfuckers. I'm saying like uh, if they they think that painting a rocket yellow makes it explode more, and that is then the way it is. Uh, it's like the the orc notion of red makes it go faster, so that's why like all their bikes are painted red, and it's just this ability that that orcs natively have that it doesn't necessarily give them a true ability that they control. They don't they don't know it's there. They just that's the way their society is. So they think like okay, the way a wog works is it's again that just all ability where enough orcs get in one area and decide they want to fuck something up. So as a result. They can, uh, you guys get that scrap. As a result, they, they, they beef themselves up with this wog because enough of them around them saying, Oh, we're going to do some damage. We believe we're going to do some damage. That damage is going to get done. So they just kind of get all crazy. Let's get these. But, and as a result too, like, th this is kind of how they, they, they drive power from their gods, Gork and Mork. Um, Gork is like a, basically like, they say something like, it, it's like, Gork is brutal but cunning, and Mork is cunning but brutal. So, it's basically a warrior god and, a, and like a rogue god, more or less. And that's what those giant monstrosities are. I, I can't remember the name of them right now. Um, but it's it's the uh, basically the, their answer to the Imperial Knight. Um, it's basically supposed to be an effigy to that, and through it they they it summons bits of. Oh, okay. So what I should probably do here is this. Move him forward. That. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, that's not gonna be good. These guys are all beat to crap. Orcs, 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 orcs. Leg it and shred it. Um. But yeah, that, that, that effigy, you know, they believe it to be part of Gork and Mork, so thus it is part of Gork and Mork. Let's get you actually. Clear the fort. Okay, let's get you up here. Does this thing heal? A listening pose? No, I'm sorry. Does this thing heal? Uh, apparently increases the orc tech, provides a defensive turret, and a generation generates scrap. Oh. So if I place that there... Oh, I can walk. I can go crazy with that. Let's, let's make that. Let's make that. So it'll give me some time to kind of speak out my ass in the meantime. But... 
yeah, so the the orc society is kind of like run by like that tech cast of like their mech boys, their weird boys, their dock boys, all that kind of stuff. And then you've got like your warlords, which lead wogs, and your war bosses, which are like this motherfucker here. Yes, I think he's a war boss in this. Yeah, war boss Gorgats. Um, when Gorgats is deployed, a successful wog heals in addition to its usual effects. Ooh! Could use that right about now. In fact, what I'm actually going to do is we're going to have a we're about to have a mass distri mass amount of boys go down. So let's actually sorry for the sniffling here, guys. I'm still allergied out because Southern California had that big drought followed by a lot of rain, and everyone in Southern California is just slowly dying. Let's get that. Um, but. Because that, like, and because like the, the the orcs like native ability to pretty much just control technology in the weirdest way possible. Because if they think it works, it works. So that's why you have this ram these ramshackle looking buildings and everything that like, oh, we put all this stuff on it and we know it's gonna work, so it works. And it does. It does work like that. And that's why when other races go to use orc technology, it doesn't work at all. It only works for them because they kind of like you know believe it to be that way. Nifty. I just like how that mechanic works. Okay, so that is a charge. Those charges disappear over time. Okay, okay. I thought they were like, you do it, and they're like buffed up, and you just gotta keep doing it. I'm like, damn, that's kind of fucking powerful. Any more scraps? Any more scraps? Yeah, there's some scraps. Okay, so this. Scuttle destroys the org, walk tower, refunding some resources. That's nifty. Hmm. Oh man, just look at this this massive orc army now. Sneaky grot, scratch them quickly, getting stealth. Huh. Detect area. Oh, nifty. Oh, they can turn into a wog tower. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. So basically, this thing can produce scrap that I can go like this. Oh, there's a mech shop. Cool. That's pretty awesome. I, I like that mechanic so far. Okay, so let's get you guys all upgraded. Let's push on. You know, it's actually I wanna get I wanna get real real intimate here. Wog me up, bro. Oh man, just this look at that metal music. I think I'm watching uh road or what's it called? Uh Mel Gibson was in it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, do it. And Oh yeah, Mad Max engaged. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, just ripping through things. This is Green Horde. Mike way for Gorgots. Oh, dude, they're just ripping stuff up over here. Look at this, this is just ravenous, I love it. Each time a wog tower is fully constructed, the level increases permanently. Oh. 
Oh, Eldar. Seriously, I thought that was what he said. Oh, cool. I'm sure back to my base. Oh, lovely. Let us go reinforce. <laughs> How lovely is that? Let's actually go over here. Make some more Gretchens. Um, but, yeah, so, like, the, the cool thing with these, these wogs is, like, in actuality, like, in the tabletop, or in the lore, at least, they, they essentially, every time they do it, like, it's just, like, it's usually an event that, that, uh, what's it called will have, that Games Workshop will have, like, say, okay, hey, yeah, um, orc wog, so this happens, and it usually is some sort of large campaign where everyone fights, and the wogs are typically, like, like, system scouring, uh, occurrences that just completely destroy people or uh, entire infrastructures, entire planets, everything. Because the way that the orcs are, they completely just take it over and get grubby and crappy. <laughs> um, oh yeah, just summon more, summon more. Oh yeah. Um, and when they do this, though, like I was saying, they they reproduce to be a spores. So the only way to get rid of orcs is to completely burn them out, which typically means exterminatus, which is uh, basically a, the Imperium's way of completely firebombing a planet with viruses and fire until it's completely gone. Um, it just is a, just a dead world. So we got plenty of options here. Clear the area of enemies. I don't think I'll have much of a problem, I'm not going to lie. Let's do... One more little log tower. I'm liking this log tower mechanic. Um, but there's no real cool like Primarchs or anything like that. Like all orcs are, are different in their own kind of regard. Everything's kind of got its own way of things. Like you know, they're, they've got like these whole. Sometimes they control like whole entire systems, and like they have these. Like create like the orcs as orcs get older and stronger they get bigger, um, just like black orc and darker like black orcs in uh, Warhammer Fantasy are some of the oldest biggest best fat veterans and orc war bosses in general are <clears throat> darker toned than some of their uh, boy counterparts or their their boys counterparts or little tiny ones, so uh, like a not like knobs for example are kind of like their elite units or their their sergeants and whatnot like uh, orc boys can be led by knobs, and uh, these Gretchen are just insanely powerful in this game for some reason like I mean defensively they have like health normal I don't know why but like someone was saying that uh, Gretchen just like are really hard to kill and I have noticed that of, of like the builder units they seem to be just like the most stalwart and it's kind of annoying because usually if you see like in, in multiplayer or something oh yeah yeah make it happen make it happen let's get in a car and just go running through things Spewing flames from the front. Mm. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Wog it up. Remember, though, that that wog just simply means that the orcs believe they're the strongest right now. So that's why they're strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys are so screwed. Oh, don't, even, don't even start that with me. Um, but I had mentioned earlier the webway. Yes, the, uh, so... Oh, look at this. Look at this fancy elf, er, elf, Eldar thingy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we'll do this. Oops. Oops. 
So that webway, the the Eldar's use it to like you know bring their, as you can see here, their. Oh. This is cool. Oh, you son of a bitch, you cheater. <laughs> um, they use that webway to connect, like, when they have those webway gates, they use them to connect from point A to point B. And what happens if I build another tower? Sorry, ADD. Um, they use it to connect from point A to point B. Um, that's what allows them to be so, you know, nimble and quick about stuff. And they can, they can appear where they, they weren't. Um, before, then disappear just as fast. That's what I kind of talk about. Um, I'll go into that when, we, when I play the Eldar campaign. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but... Oh! Oh! <clears throat> Leg it and spread it. That is just so sorts of brutal now. Of course, that gate would close. <laughs> okay, so we'll uh, we'll build we'll build some units now. In the meantime, add to my green horde. If your army is weak, you can produce more units from your buildings. You can also construct. Yes, yes, that is true. Let's just get some more folk going here. Ooh, big gun power level. Oh yeah, this is just not going to go well for you guys. What are we doing? What are we, where are we talking? I'm just activating it. Uh oh. Uh oh. You kids are kids. I did great, boss! But yeah, that webway, that's where, like, the black library is within the- Oh! That grenade fucked me. Um, that black library is in that webway. And the black library- I'll go into the black library more with, uh... With the actual... Oh, shit. I'll go into the Black Library of the actual Eldar. I don't want to touch on it right now, but um, that, the, like I was saying, the, the old ones use it for moving from world to world. So it's kind of assumed, more or less, that the webway is 
that shit is that uh <laughs> Jesus and that's another thing with orc technology it's like oh yeah sure we might believe it works but it might just work here and there and sparingly it's kind of like the thing oh yeah right into him um, just so you guys know, using these characters in single-player campaign levels them up, even for multiplayer. So that's pretty advantageous to do. I mean, it kind of makes doing... Oh, dude, those elders get ripped apart. It makes doing the campaign a little more useful because, yeah, you get skulls to unlock more elites, but you also get um, the capability... What does this do? What does this do? Oh, man, you guys are probably, like, getting mad at me, like, you could have done that from the start! <laughs> Oh yeah, get that wog going. I want to get a wog going. I like the wog. Oh! <laughs> Where'd it go? Bring the big gun back to base. What big gun? Where'd it go? Oh, it's shot back here. Oh, I see what they're saying. Thank you. Yeah, just like this green horde of doom here. Probably make another, just another control group of boys. <laughs> There's so damn many. Trolling for a good time. Trolling from all ass. Oops, oops. That's not good. Fire wogs. This spoon is going to last its full duration. Gorgas fires celebra celebratory rockets. That's cool. And that was for the uh, getting the scrap. But yeah, um, definitely make sure you do the the campaigns because that way you know you you get your your base hero a little bit further up in rank so you can get the other doctrines, get more skulls. You also get some uh, some other goodies. That's okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. This bold fool. Oh, dude, he's destroying stuff. I can't make any more stuff other than these guys, right? Trolling for a good time. He's almost dead, <laughs> I think.
<laughs> Actually, it wouldn't hurt me to put my some fighting unit, shooting units up there. Yeah, right there. Thank you. I feel like I'm doing a quick battle for Warhammer. This little guy down here, little sneaky shit. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Knocks him back again. Oh, that's cool. Let's get those guys back here. Hmm. I'm actually gonna. Guys back here, so we're gonna reinforce here real quick. It's gonna be a oh, yeah, look at that! Look at that, just fat orc horde coming back. Now we gotta get back over there because it's about to fall. <laughs> a worthy sacrifice. Beat around by those boys. Ooh. So this is a bit longer of a of a campaign mission than the other one. Probably because it actually has like a like a mission or a building and everything like that. So oh shit, shit, shit. I'll have to ignore them for a bit. Actually I'm gonna send a big boy over here. Oh, that's almost broken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just dropping that pain. There, yeah, there's some salvage for you. Nice. Okay. This should probably conclude this mission. Sorry, I got a little silent there. I wanted, didn't want to lose it. Oh, yeah. See how this goes. The Eldar and Hey, the gun works good. Too good if you ask me. Gretchen, before we hand this off to Git Stopper, I need you to make some modifications. Okay. Okay. So that, that knocks out the uh, first orc mission here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, there's not, a, like I said, there's not a whole ton of like really romantic and space opera type history like there is for Space Marines, but this hopefully gave you a little insight into the beginning of the Warhammer 40,000 world and where the Eldar come from, where the orcs orig originate from, where actually the Slan Lizardmen come from in the old ones that I've talked about in some previous videos. And we'll, we'll hear more from the old ones in the Lorehammer video for the Lizardmen coming out soon. And we'll hear more about the Eldar origins in their first 
um, uh, campaign mission, which I think is next. But uh, thanks for watching here, guys. There's some stuff, some some goodies coming out for you, some head-to-head -head campaigns, some more uh, quick battles and what. But um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you have any questions or comments about or history or, or anything else that I can help out with. Thanks, guys, and have a good one. Take care.